Lagniappe is a French Cajun word. I became aware of it when I was doing some shopping in southern Louisiana. I was looking at the men's suits. They had 42 regular, 42 long, 42 short. I was a little disappointed they didn't carry my size. 42 strange. <laughs> That's what I wear. So I'm looking at the suits one by one. This gentleman approaches me. Sir! Hi, I noticed that you were looking at the suits. I'm hoping I might assist you in some way in finding just the right suit for you. Wow, was I impressed. I said, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your helpfulness, but I want to tell you, I'm not going to be buying a suit today. I'm just looking. And he inquired further. And I said, well, the reason that I'm not going to be buying a suit today is because, you know, I live in California, and I'm here in Louisiana, and I said, and also, it's the alterations. So I don't think I'll be buying a suit, but I want to again thank you for your help. Here's what he said next. Sir, I'm sure you're aware that most athletic men have that problem. I always like having a conversation with someone who knows what they're talking about. And um, I said, could you repeat that one more time? And then he explained, he said, sir, when you have an athletic build like you obviously do, it's going to require alteration for that suit to fit properly. And I said, well, you're absolutely right. I, I don't know what I was thinking. So I step in front of this three-way mirror, and he brings over a jacket, and I try it on, and well, we've got a bit of a challenge. I mean, the arms are a little long. And I thought, well, should I purchase suit or shouldn't I? And finally, I thought, Roger Crawford, why are you putting all this pressure on yourself? You just need to consult with him and his expertise. It's not every day that you work with an expert in athletic men clothing. <laughs> I said, is this the type of suit that an athletic guy like me should be wearing? He said, yes, sir. And there are several others here in the rack that you must have as well. So I'm leaving the Dillard's Department Store in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I see this sign. The sign says, we never neglect the lanyap. Now, I didn't even know how to pronounce the word. And he said lanyap. And I remember thinking, well, I've heard that word before when I've been in the New Orleans area. And then I asked him to explain lanyap. He said, well, if you walked into a place of business and the customer said to the merchant, I'd like two pounds of grain. The merchant then would take something, maybe like a burlap sack, place it on the scale, and then just scoop out of the barrel, then in the burlap sack. Out of the barrel, then the burlap sack. The scale registers two pounds. That was the expectation. But here's what happens next. The merchant, he or she, takes that scoop one more time into the barrel. And as he or she is pouring it, they say, now, this is the lanyap. That last scoop, that little extra, that's the lanyap. The definition beyond full measure. It means a little extra. Now, lanyap doesn't have to add to the bottom line. Each one of you in this room, as leaders, have that unique opportunity every single day to deliver lanyap internally and externally. And we know people that have lanyap internally are then more easily to share that lanyap externally. And when it's all said and done, wouldn't you agree people really buy two things? Solutions and lanyap. Leaders understand the difference maker is the little extra. Lanyap beyond full measure.